Hey everyone. What's up guys, unofficial MCU here. I hope you're all doing well, and in this video we are going to be discussing the MCU's first 2024 live action Disney Plus show, that there being the Echo Disney Plus show. We're gonna go ahead and hop right on into it. In this video, we are going to be taking a read from the Direct's article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. As a read, following a unfortunate significant delay, the MCU's first 2024 Disney Plus show just got an official release date update. Due to the writers and the actor strikes in Hollywood that have dried up most of the movie and television production this overall summer, Marvel was forced to delay six of their upcoming projects, both within Disney Plus and movies. All of the upcoming Phase 5 films and shows seem to currently be up in the air, including Deadpool 3, Captain America Brave New World, and the studio's most recently delayed show, Echo. Although, not to fear, it seems that Echo now has a new release date coming for 2024, as it was previously supposed to actually be coming out this year. Now, according to the US copyright catalog by Marvel Studios themselves, Echo will be released on Disney Plus on January 10th. This would make it the first MCU project to debut in 2024. This is a tentative release date as Marvel Studios has not officially announced its premiere after being pushed out of this year, 2023. However, following the delay from its original November 29th, 2023 release, it was previously hinted that Echo would be released in January of next year. A unique aspect of Echo's release is that, for the first time, Disney Plus will be releasing all of the Marvel show's episodes on the same day, and that should hold true for its new release. Historically, the MCU had weekly releases, with the premiere sometimes dropping more than one episode, so a duo of two episodes. This new binge model, though, however, was made famous by streaming competitor Netflix. And so, even to argue, it's something that honestly does make sense, especially with seeing of how Echo is supposed to heavily incorporate the character of Daredevil and even have some many references, easter eggs, and setups for some of the other Netflix Defender heroes making their way into the Marvel Cinematic Universe after having Daredevil appear both in the She-Hulk Disney Plus show and Spider-Man No Way Home. The Netflix Daredevil, you know, characters and Defender characters were originally from Netflix, of course, that including Daredevil, Punisher, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, all of them making their return and comebacks for the MCU now. So they're kind of carrying that tradition, so to speak, over into the uh, for, for the Echo and for Disney Plus here now. And so the copyright catalog also came with the show's description, focusing on her Native American roots and the return of Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin after firstly appearing in, of course, the Daredevil uh, Netflix show and also in the Hawkeye Disney Plus show as a read, Marvel Studios presents Echo, in which Maya Lopez struggles to reconnect with her Native American roots while balancing aspirations tied to a life of crime as a successor to the brutal legacy of Wilson Fisk, aka Kingpin. In the first episode, we are introduced to Maya Lopez and her struggles. Ending that right there, I'll discuss and talk a bit more about its overall synopsis in another feature video here on the channel. All the more reason to grab that subscribe button and that notification bell if you haven't already. And so, this year all being said, Marvel's first 2024 project. The upcoming Marvel slate is a bit of up in the air. Loki Season 2 and the Marvels are solidified to be rounding out this year, 2023, but next year is in quite a flux. Also debuting this year is the new animated What If Season 2 show, expected to begin streaming around Christmas Day of this year. Following behind Echo will likely be a the retro animated series X-Men 97, which is currently set up for an early 2024 release date on Disney Plus as well. The only other Disney Plus MCU show confirmed to release in 2024 would be Agatha Darkhold Diaries. Daredevil Born Again and Ironheart currently do not have release dates and are temporary off of the calendar. This year all being said, it sounds that Echo is going to be coming out January 10th, only on Disney Plus. This year all being said, guys, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking and what you guys all want to see going forward with the MCU and for the Echo Show. Let me know what you guys are all thinking in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been Unofficial MCU. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. Peace out.